Hi, I'm May, and today I'm going to show you how I do my makeup for mask and femme cosplays. Today we're going to be doing Edric and Amira from the Owl House, and we're going to start with Amira first. When I'm working on a femme cosplay that's going to be paired with a mask cosplay, I really like heightening the feminine features of my face. So usually that includes like blush, highlighter, and making my lines curved instead of straight like we will later on. Before that, we're going to start with some concealer on just a couple like problem areas that I have. Okay, now that we have a nice base taken care of, I usually like to start from the top of my face down. So we're going to start with our eyebrows. I just follow the natural shape of my eyebrows, but this helps contrast for when we do the mask characters. A lot of things are going to be in the eyebrows, the eyes, and the cheeks. One thing to think about while you're doing this is that women have a lot of curves in animation and men have a lot of straight lines. That's what I try to put into my makeup. Now that I figured that out, we're going to do eyeliner and winged eyeliner specifically. But all of this is just my preference. You can do whatever you want. Another thing you might want to do is pull up reference photos. While innocent or attractive characters might have more curves, evil or dark characters may have more sharp lines. Okay, now that that's done, I feel like from here up is very feminine. We gotta continue matching the rest of this vibe and energy. So we're gonna do... Do you want to do eyeshadow with this look? Amira doesn't wear eyeshadow, so I think I'm gonna leave it just for now and then I can change it later. So again, working top to the bottom. This part, next. Our cheeks, our nose, area, next. Starting out with blush. One thing that I've learned when I've started drawing is that femme drawings have a lot of curves and mask drawings have a lot of straight lines. So whenever you're drawing like a woman's jaw, it's curved. Whenever you're drawing a man's jaw, it's sharp. We're going to be doing that and cheating with highlighter, blush, and contour. So we're going to do our blush and we're curving. And then I like to go over the nose also and curving with like your cheeks and bringing it up to like your temples almost. Again, makeup and blush can be done however you want, but the main focus here is trying to get our face more round by adding those curves. Okay, pulling out my highlighter palette, I like to go just right over top, making our faces like shiny as possible. So because I really want like a strong center line for this, I'm going to do the, the tip of my nose. And then we're going to do a line, but we're not going to connect the two. But just a line down the, down there. Last part, I do my lips next. Another thing that you can do is uh, your jawline. I have a very soft jawline, so I'm leaving that. But you can look up tutorials on how to make your jawline softer if you're going for more of a feminine look. I already have a really soft jawline in general, so. Um, lips, lips, lips. Sometimes I do split color lips. I'm trying to debate if I want to do that today or not. I think we are going to do split lips again. You can do it without a cupid's bow. You can do it with a cupid's bow. Lipstick in general is just going to add to the femininity of the character. Okay, I'm done with the top lip. I'm gonna do the bottom lip next. I always get asked how like my lipsticks don't mix and it's because of the specific brand that they just don't. Like they dry on and then they stay in place and they do not move and they do not mix. You just gotta make sure that both layers are dried completely before you touch them together. I'm trying to decide what color I want the bottom lip to be. One thing that I really like to do with my lips is making this thinner and come to a point at my mouth not like a straight point but like coming in and then doing a little curve and then coming curved back out and i do that with concealer to make my lips look different lipstick is definitely one of the things that i love to mess with with somebody like stella i love to make the lipstick a lot more angled and i think it really helps with the villain aesthetic okay i just added the concealer just said i need to fix with lip liner but you can see but it looks like my skin tone reaches all the way up there. It doesn't. This side's better, but you can use this side as a reference of um, just using concealer to change my lip shape. 
Okay, now for the most important part that I was talking about earlier, eyelashes. Eyelashes are everything. I just wanted to show you real fast one side with eyelashes and one without. I think that they really help bring this look together. And I still got a few more tips on how to look more feminine for a cosplay. Okay, just got the outfit all put together. The one thing that I wanted to point out is with my like femme cosplays, I try to make sure there's something always around my waist to make my body have more of that feminine curve to it. With the mask, and which I'll show you guys in a little bit, I'm going to do the complete opposite. Usually like a puppy skirt, you can put something underneath the skirt. If you don't think you have much of a waist, you can still trick the cameras into thinking that you do. And actually, I think I do want a petticoat underneath this to accent my hips a little bit more. So let me go do that. Okay, here's my waistline. Now that I have a petticoat underneath the skirt, we're gonna bring that in even more by adding my uh, corset belt. There we go. And now we have more of that like hourglass shape. Now that that's done, I am now gonna go record my little silly little goofy videos for you guys. And then I'm gonna go and get into Edric. So I'll see you in a second. Again, we're gonna start from the top down. We're not going to apply concealer or problem areas like underneath her eyes or uh, over any zits or anything like that. The first thing that we're going to do is my natural eyebrows are arched and we're going to make them thick and straighter. In TV or animation, a lot of male characters have very straight lines, including their eyebrows. Their eyebrows tend to be straight and bushy. So just take a look at the character that you're doing and see what they have. Sweet. So I've already made them darker and thicker. They're not the thin angled ones that I had earlier. When I was first trying out mask makeup styles, one of my friends, PD, told me to kill the feminine life in my eyes. So that's what I'm going to do. We're gonna take a lighter shade of brown and we're gonna start here from like underneath the eyebrows and drag down. We're gonna add the bags underneath our eyes. Some guys I go like darker with these and some guys I do lighter. Because I'm doing Edric, he's like a teenager, he's younger, it's okay to go on the lighter side with this contour versus someone like Beetlejuice, I try to go with a darker contour. With like feminine makeup, you try to make your eyes pop and become bigger. We're trying to make our eyes look sunken and darker. Building off of what I said earlier, you want to look at photos for reference again because younger characters are going to have a little bit more curve to them. Younger male characters are going to have a little bit more life to their eyes versus like the older and older that certain characters get, the more sharp lines and then darkened eyes they get. That is closer to what I want it to be. So... Concealer. Usually for women, lips are really pretty. We're going to make them really crusty instead. I don't know why, but for some reason, making lips really crusty really brings out the mask side of cosplay. Now we need to sharpen my jawline and hollow out my cheeks a lot. I like to cut here, here, and then drag down the colors. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. here and here by putting a shadow in this area we are making our cheekbones a lot stronger and our face a lot more angled i'm gonna take this and i like to go underneath the chin too to give a sharper jawline Again, I have really soft jaw lines, and one thing that really helped me gain confidence in my mask cosplays is carving out my jawline and then also to highlight, not highlight, but like contour that area right there on your chin. I think that's about it. I think that's all I do. I'm keeping this like lighter than some of my other mask cosplays. So usually I go darker, but yeah. And then I'm also trying to make like the shirt is kind of loose on me. I want it to be like, I want it to be as square and straight as possible versus that curved figure. Let me go put on my wig and I'll be right back. We're back. This is like the finished look. I um even contoured my arms, not off camera, but I contoured my arms because they felt too feminine. So I just went in with like some shadows and I was like, yeah, there's there's a muscle there. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Leave any questions you have down below and I'll see you in the next video.